just imagine that there really is a God. One worthy of the title, real, truly God. Powerful, created all of this, in charge of everything and everyone. Makes Thanos look like a baby. Would he want to talk to us? Just imagine, if he did, what would he say to you? If we are on God's radar, what might he say? That's why Christians read the Bible. Maybe you've wondered about this in the past. Why, when we've got the world's information in our pockets just to Google away, why is a thousands of year old book so important to so many people? What is the Bible anyway? I wondered, do you think the Bible is more like this, a dictionary, or this, a mobile phone? Most of our Bibles look a lot more like this, for sure, and I reckon that this is what most people would think. Uh, the Bible is frankly a big and kind of boring reference book, one that you dip into every now and again, but most of the time it can just stay on the shelf. Whereas surprisingly, Christians believe the Bible is much more like this. It's not like reading a textbook, it's like talking to a friend on the phone. The Bible is God speaking. This is personal, relational, present tense speaking. This is what one of Jesus' friends had to say about the Bible. They said, all scripture is God breathed. It comes from God's mouth, on his breath. The Bible is God speaking. And so the Bible is a book unlike any other. For one thing, it's got amazing predictive power. It says that things are going to happen long before they do. Things like where Jesus is going to be born, the sorts of things that he says, the kind of things that he's going to do, and they end up coming true. Uh, the Bible isn't a book like any other book. And we all know that speech is important. When even our four-year term, here today and gone tomorrow, leaders of this world, get up to give a speech, a bit like Boris did just a couple of days ago, we all pay attention. Just imagine that it was the king of the whole universe speaking. That is what the Bible is. And if you give it a read, I think what he has to say might surprise you. If you've ever wondered what God would say if you could talk to him, then wonder no more. Here's another comparison for you. Would you say that the Bible is more like this recipe book, or like this kitchen knife? Well again, you might be surprised to know that for Jesus' followers, the Bible is much more like this knife than the recipe book. Let's hear what another one of them had to say. The word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. The Bible is not like a cookery book that you look up whenever you're not sure what to do next or to get the best instructions for how to live a good life. It is much more like a knife that is exposing and cutting. The Bible is not just a book you read. It is a book that reads you right back. It's something that changes and exposes and challenges us because it is God speaking to you today. That's certainly been my experience of reading the Bible. I had a friend at university who was an avowed atheist, but before going away for the Easter break, he was convinced to read the Bible for himself to check out the claims that it was making. He was pretty sceptical about what it had to say about Jesus, and particularly about the need to be forgiven. And yet when he came back, he said he was so surprised. He couldn't put it down. It was unlike any other book that he'd read. And that actually there had been this slow but drastic change to where he not only recognised he needed forgiveness, but he was so grateful that it was on offer in Jesus. The Bible had changed him. He had heard God speak. It is living, active and alive. The Bible is how God continues to speak today. It's not dull, dead and done. That's why the Bible is so precious. It is God speaking to you today. And so if you've never given the Bible a read, if you're not sure what God would say to you, go on, give it a try.